So it's the time you've all been waiting for. It's my regular what's in the cabinet. So we're going to start this side as always, guys. So I'm going to start this con. This is a good one for you, actually. This is the actually discontinued. I'll show you there. It's the Mark 1 Sea Dweller 43 Red. We had one in a few weeks ago, literally sold it straight away. This one, again, only got in yesterday. Quite rare to find the other ones. Doesn't have the coronet on the dial. Really popular watch. Sea Dweller 43 has become a really popular seller for us. This is more of a collectible one with it being one of the early Mark 1s. Again, absolutely mint, light new, unpolished. Hardly any mark on it, full set. And for me personally, if you guys wanted something different, that is a really good buy. That'll be going live this week. Only came yesterday, I'll be surprised if it's there for longer than a couple of days price-wise, about 12, 12 and a half grand, so absolute peanuts. The next one I'll go to, next one in the cabinet, Celebration, OP, as we all know. Probably one of the hardest watches to get out of your AD this year. We've started to see a few more hit the market. We've got it in. We actually had it in last week. Had a little bit of interest. The RRP is about 5250 to let you guys know. We all know that's some realistic in the open market. We actually have time at 22, 23 grand. We've now reduced that to just under 20, literally about half an hour ago. That should get the interest. That's roughly around about where they're going wholesale. This side of the desk, I'd be very surprised if it's there. Long term, really good one. Where will it be in a few years? Hard to say, such a funny market. But for me personally, this watch anywhere in the teens, I think it's a really good buy. One for you guys out there, if you want something a little bit different, not many people have them in their collections. Definitely a nice little watch for you. Next one with you guys, popular, really, really popular watch. This is the stainless steel, as we all know, the Pepsi on the Jubilee bracelet. We've actually sold them last week. We got this in yesterday, 2023 model. It's a brand new, unworn, full set. Just gone online at 17,950. Just shut out there five months. I think one of my sales teams actually sold it to one of our regular clients. But for you guys, knowing how hard these are to get in the current market, that are going to have all the old ground of discontinuation possible and bezel problems. Really popular watch and a lot of you guys grill watch. So yep, 17,950, really nice watch. The next one I go to is the Deep Sea James Cameron. We used to sell so many of these back in the day. I mean, loads and loads and loads. We don't get that many now. Ironically, we've got two in yesterday. Ironically, they're both the same year. They're both unworn and they're both the older reference, the one two reference, 2021. Price wise on these, they're going to land 12,950 somewhere around there. Brand new unworn full set, something for you guys out there. That little bit different look in the clients that we sell these to. They want this watch and this watch only because of the size and the beautiful, beautiful blue black dial. All hand finished, by the way. If you ever get a chance to see one under a loop, you can see the spray where the black comes over. The blue, because they're all blue to start with. Really cool watch. And for you guys out there, very, very popular and in the money now. I'll push past that one. That's obviously the blue braid. Discuss this again. So loads of these over the years. 35 list. So quite a few of the last few months as well. There now, obviously, we sell these for 31. To give you an idea, so you're going to drop it just under the 30. We've had it in a couple of weeks. We've not sold it. And for us, that's that's quite strange because we do sell a load of these. So obviously, we just need to reduce it in line with the market. But a lot of watch for the money. Don't buy, obviously, from your AD. Buy from the grey. 30 grand. A lot of watch for the money. Stealth wealth as well. Next one we'll go to, talking about Stealth Wealth, is the White Gold Pepsi. Don't know if we spoke about this one before, but this is the one with the blue dial. Again, I'm happy on this £35,000. Pick this up. This is just over 30. Again, I think we're just going to have to reduce it slightly just due to the way the current market is. Not the most popular watch out there, if I'm honest with you. The guy that wants this wants this one, this one only. But definitely one for you guys out there if you want something a bit more stealthy. Very similar to obviously the steel one. The steel looks exactly the same, but with the black dial, which I sold a couple of days ago, 16.5. This is, you know, something completely a bit different to that. Looks similar, but obviously has the blue dial. Next one I'll talk about is the Sky Dweller. This is a nice watch actually and really popular. So this is the Jubilee Fluted. Two bracelet combinations, so you've got the Oyster and the Jubilee. We're actually starting to sell a lot more of the Jubilees now than what we used to do. It used to be, so out of 100, it'd be 70% and 30%. What would sell Oyster to Jubilee? We now sell more, probably 50-50 of both. And again, really hard watch to get from UAD, you guys know that. Blue, they do the black, the white and the mint. The black sort of sits in the middle in the range somewhere. We sell these for around 17 to 18,000 pounds. Again, great value for money, and when you compare to some of the other models out there, I think a really nice watch. And for the guys that want the bigger look, that's definitely one that you guys choose. We'll go to the next one. This came in yesterday. When I had one in for a few weeks, actually. This is the, the iconic stainless steel discontinued 116 500LN Daytona black dial. I think this wears much better than the white person, although all the clients want the white for, obviously, being the Panda, the iconic one. This particular one here is brand new 2023, unworn. This is where the market is, guys. We've actually put this on the market, I think like 23, 24 grand. That watch was another 10,000 pound last year. It was certainly a lot more this year as well. 
late 20s so these are now coming down to what i think are really in the money you know for something that's so hard to get used to be 11 year waiting list now you know i mean such such hard watch get spend hundreds of thousand pounds if you can go to the grain and literally pay less than double which i know sounds crazy to some of you guys but if you understand the data on the steel range i don't think it's that silly i really don't we sold a white one a couple of weeks ago sold that for 26 there's a black one for 24 i think great watch and wears really nice got a couple of dates just for you guys here so we've got the really popular mint that's the 41 fluted jubilee probably one of the best combinations you'll ever get we've got another one here this is the 36 that's the palm so if you can see that one there real unusual dial extremely popular watches we sell loads of dates just now but we will only stock the best styles are dials that are a little bit different to the standard ones just due to the current market. We're finding that the oyster bracelets and the smooth bezels for us, we're not really stocking anymore, if I'm honest with you, just due to take quite a while to sell. If it's got one of the better dials in, you know, we'll stock it. And if not, we're actually not stocking at the minute. So certainly bear that in mind when you're buying. Before we go to this side, I've just got a few more that I do want to show you here. True flexion on the current market. One being the Starbucks, the Submariner Date really really popular watch this actually came in a couple of days ago it hasn't gone on the website yet mark ii bezel which has the lighter green nod to the old kermit not the one that we've seen previous this is one again gonna be online between sort of 13 and 14 thousand pounds compared to where they were for me personally i think they're great value for money considering how hard they are to get and the list price being over nine thousand pound they're not silly so for me a good little buy in the current market what else have we got in here i can show you Air King, another one we'll get requests from you guys to talk about. Air King there. Again, this is a new reference with a new crown, guys. I think it's a much improved watch, a really nice watch. Selling for just over RRP, so for you guys out there looking to buy this watch, not silly in the marketplace. Again, you know, we've got a margin on top of that. We're paying around about list with our margin on top, selling for just a bit over. So a lot of watch for the money, something for you guys that want something different. That's definitely the watch because it is a Marmite and you will genuinely love it or hate it. And a lot of our clients buy it because nobody else likes it and it's something different. Then we'll might as well while on this side, I'm just going to show you this one, which is the Oyster Flex, because it's sat here. This is the absolutely stunning Oyster Flex Daytona 18 karat gold chocolate dial, discontinued dial, as you guys I'm sure all know. Price wise on this, we're selling this around about 35. It's not been on the website, just coming to stock. I really sought after of, of the dials that you can get in this particular one before they were discontinued were the top tier with the chocolate and the baguette sun dust. This is right up there. Really nice watch and extremely, extremely popular. I'll be surprised when it goes online if it's there for longer than a few days, if I'm honest with you. Really nice watch. And then we'll jump into this side. Let's have a look at some of the other watches we've got in here. So we've got, let's do, we've got, so we've got the root beer, really popular watch. The RRP is in 13 somewhere. I'm sure you guys jump in the comments and give me the exact number, about 13, six, I'm gonna say. We're paying just over list and selling for just over list. We were selling for 18, 18, five. I think the current price now realistically for new one or nearly new is around about 16 to 17, five, somewhere around there. Extremely popular, one that you guys are definitely pulling the trigger on. We've got the Explorer 2, as we all know, one of my favorites. I know some of you guys absolutely hate this watch, but I think it's a cracking watch for the money. Again, we're selling these for over 11,000 pounds. We're now selling this brand new and worn. We've got a couple in the safe as well. Polar dial. We're still going to sell this for just over 10. We're now going to sell it for just under 10. We've got a black dial coming as well this week. The RRP on both of these is 8,100. We're now going to advertise the black one for about 995 and the polar white for just under 10. So for me personally, and I know you guys don't like it, I think they're great watches for money and you should be definitely pulling the trigger on these. So the next one to talk about is one of my favourites actually, one for you guys out there, one of your favourites and I think really good value for money depending on the combination that you want to choose and it's the stainless steel and yellow gold Rolex Daytona. The RRP on these now I think around 16.6. The ones when we got here they're around about 16, one depending on the dial combination and obviously you've got one got with a diamond as well which is a little bit more, I think they're around about 17,000, 17.5. So I'll start with this one here which is the black one, we've got two actually. I'll show you them both at the same time. You can see the comparison. So we've got the unbelievable white and black dial. They come in three dial variations for the old discontinued ones, which these are. They did the champagne, the white and the black. The champagne, we don't really stock that often unless we're, we're selling it at a reasonable price, just purely because it's not as popular as these two. It's saying that I think we've got a champagne one coming 
next week, but it will be in the money. But these are the most popular two. Definitely a man's watch is the black. That's definitely a unisex watch. We suppose to sell more to our lady clients now more than anything because the way they wear, they wear smaller than actually 40 mil. Much thinner case, as you can see. They do wear smaller on the wrist. Price-wise on these, this one's 19.5, this one's 20. Slight uplift for the white dial. Again, really popular. I think actually uh, Josh, my sales guy, has actually sold that this morning. I'll double check. But yeah, really popular money. And for just under 20 grand, fantastic watches. We've also got one here which has a slight upgraded dial, diamond dial. So same one, same model reference, diamond dial. We've got this online, does carry premium. So we've got just over 20,000 pounds. Million percent man's watch, we'll sell this to a, to a guy, no problem. And for me personally, I think it's a cracking, cracking watch and something different to a standard one. Slight upgrade and like I said, really nice watch. Then we'll go to the, let's go to this one, which is the GRNR. One that you guys have definitely been offered, been buying and actually selling to dealers like me. We've seen so many of these come over the desk over the last few months. We've actually got this for sale for around 16,950. Last few we've sold straight away at that price. We are gonna to have to reduce this. I think we've overpaid. We can now buy this watch. We've had it in a couple of weeks. We can now buy this watch for less money, roundabout retail. So if you're looking to buy that and sell it to a dealer like me, you will literally only get what you've paid for it. You're not all maybe 100 or 200 pound more, but literally that would be it. Really, 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 really nice watch in my opinion. Something different to the actual root beer look, something for the steel and gold bluesy. The Black Submarine, I've actually got one here. I can show you the difference, what it looks side by side. Obviously this is the 40 mil, all GMTs are. This is the 41 mil. Obviously a different look on the Oyster as well to this particular one. Me personally, two-tone bezel, I think it's a cracking, cracking watch. And something for you guys out there, if you're looking for something a bit different, you want that still steel and gold look, Great, great buy. And then I want to finish on three watches that I've got at the front of my cabinet here. No surprise to you, they will be the Daytona range. We'll start with the Ghost, really popular watch. We used to sell at least two or three of these a week. Now I tell them, honestly, one or two a week, if I'm honest with you. Really nice watch. This one's actually sold. We've got another one that came in and this week's not been advertised yet. 2023 one. That'll be going live on the website. Still holding the numbers, 35 to 37 grand, even though discontinued. We've got the other one, as you guys know, one of my personal favourites. We don't get that many in, as you know, and it's the Pikachu. I'm really pleased to get this one because this is one of the last ones, 2023, last year produced, brand new, unworn UK, full set, everything with it, white tags, as you would wish for anything with a special dial. We've got this for sale for just over 40. I think it's a cracking buy, considering they're not making it anymore and how hard they are to get because the pre-owners are still late or mid to late 30s online. So for me personally, you know, I just don't need to talk too much about watch. Absolutely unbelievable watch. And I'm going to finish on what we have another one of, which we had one in a few weeks ago. We actually have this one. This actually has an unbelievable meteorite dial. It's the 18 karat white gold discontinued 116509 meteorite dial. All one of one dials, all different, all unique to each other. This one has some beautiful light, actually looks quite alive this style. If you ever get to see one in the flesh, they actually, this one actually looks pretty real. Like there's a light behind it. It's an incredible, incredible dial. Under 90,000 pounds, considering how rare they are compared to a platinum Daytona, even rarer, spending hundreds of thousands of pounds, considering the RRP, which is somewhere in the, let's say the late 30s for this when you actually buy it, and you have to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on other watches and diamonds and jewelry and other brands to get it. And you can just go straight to the grey and buy off a trusted dealer with a full set, including white tag and everything. I think it is cracking, cracking value for money. And this might be one for me in years to come, if I do sell in the next few weeks that I'll regret, I'll think, you know what? I should have kept it.